Hey YouTube, Colorado Hunter Hiker here, coming to you with uh, this week's Friday Small Gear and Tips video, and it's going to be about dry bags, specifically Sea to Summit dry bags. Be sure to watch the other videos in this 13 week, 26 video series, which includes videos on Fridays about small gear and tips for hunting, hiking, and backpacking, and videos on Mondays about essential gear and tips for hunting, hiking, and backpacking. So without further ado, here's today's small gear and tips video about dry bags. First, I want to apologize. My uh, auxiliary light failed on me, so um, I don't have an extra one. So I am. Uh, this video may be a little bit darker. I apologize, but like I said, I committed to to getting these out, and uh, so I'm going to do it um, the best I can here. Um, we all know about the necessity of keeping things dry especially down bags and spare clothing. That's where dry bags come in. For some, the only place they can put a sleeping bag or extra clothes is on the outside of their pack. So, it's less protected. Stuff stuffing that in a dry bag usually keeps it nice and dry, so when you get to where you're going, it's not soaking wet. A sleeping bag, especially a down one that's wet, is pretty much worthless. So, investing just a little bit in good, solid dry bags is worth every penny you spend. Problem though, is with traditional dry bags, when you have them, for instance, this is a Sea to Summit traditional dry bag, you pack them, you close the top, and they're full of air. Now this may look like it's full of something about this size, but that isn't the case. Inside is a bunch of air. And the only way to get it out is to compress it down and then reclose it. So, Sea to Summit, uh, actually has come out with um, their solution to this. <laughs> um, it's called an Event uh, Sea to Summit um, Evac, and it's made of Event. So what happens is, although the air clearly isn't out of this, what happens is as you push down and compress it, the air leaves and it compresses down, but water won't go through. So. You can have this, for instance, as a sleeping pad and some, I think a 210 top from Kuyu. Um, you can compress it more without having to undo it and bleed the air out. Um, these come in a couple of different sizes and a couple of, and two, two styles. One is without a compression, the other is with a compression. Simply just put your stuff in like you normally would along the top here. Close the top and clip it, and then start cinching it down. And what happens is something that was, you saw how big that one was prior to this, gets cinched down to something significantly smaller. So, again, I apologize, the light makes that really hard to see, but uh, you can see the difference in size there that it might have gotten a little bit wider but it's definitely more compact these two are the same um, this is just a normal dry bag just for size this is a two liter these two are eight liters and this is a 14 liter the uh, let's see the regular dry bags these two come in either blue or gray um, they come in three five eight 13, 20, 35, and 65 liter. Really, for most of what you'll need is a eight liter if you have a small uh, down sleeping bag. That's what's in that one right now. It fits pretty perfect. Anything bigger than a small one uh, and a pretty lightweight, it's a 19 degree REI Igneo, um, you're gonna want the next size up, which is 13. It just makes it easier to stuff it. Again, shove it in there. Don't worry about getting the air out. You can do what I do, which is forego the compression straps one and just put your bag in there and then shove it in the bottom of your bag. And eventually the air will get pushed out as you pack the rest of the bag. That's what I do. These are a little bit heavier and they're more pricey. Um, right now, the eight liters, which is these two, are 22 bucks on, on Amazon and 13 bucks for uh, or in the 13 liter is about 25. So you're gonna probably want an eight liter from synthetic bag or 
uh, or uh, eight liter for down bag, really light, small, probably 30 degree and above, or pretty compact down, uh, or even want a 13 liter for uh, synthetic bags. Um, the compression, uh, one which is over here, that comes in what they call a small, medium, large, and extra large, or extra small, small, medium, large, and extra large size, which equates to six, 10, 14, 20, and 30 liter size. Um, the small, so the six liter one is about 34 bucks, and the medium, which is this size right here, is 14 liters, and it's about 40 bucks. Um, I'm gonna try something new. I've had a lot of questions on uh, the specific gear that I'm talking about, so I'm gonna put links to those on the description. Um, so if you won't have any trouble searching for them. I get almost all my stuff through Amazon. Um, being a Prime member works out really well. You get it in two days, so kind of pays for itself. Um, so look for those links in the description box. Uh, the main difference between the two links is one will be for the regular dry bags, which as you can see, you can still compress, and the other will be for the compression strap dry bags. Um, they're both made of event, and to be honest, you really don't need the compression sack unless you're gonna put it outside of your bag and on the outside of your pack or if you're close on space. Otherwise, just get the uh, non-compression ones and shove them down the bottom of your bag and the air will get out of there. Um, so for those of you who are in need of a good, reliable dry bag, I'd really look at the Sea to Summit. I haven't found anything better and I've looked for quite a while. Um, check out the e -bag, the Event dry bags. Um, the handy piece of small gear for hunting, hiking, and backpacking. So that's why we're talking about them. And uh, that's all I've got. Be sure to click the like button and subscribe if you already ha if you haven't already. And for those who have, thank you very much. Much appreciated. Be sure to check out our Facebook page and follow us on Instagram under the handle Colorado Hunter Hiker. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please just let me know and I'll get back to you. Thanks guys and gals. Have a great day.